God lives and works today. Ever anew, He turns to us in His love, stretching His arms out to us in His Son, Jesus Christ. But how do we respond to His love? Two thousand years ago, when Jesus went His way to the cross, the crowd shouted, Away with Him! We don't want Him to rule over us. What are our words like? This is the question we are confronted with in today's meditation by Basilea Schlink called Jesus Answer. Many men are prepared to lay down their lives in war because they know my people expect their country to be protected through sacrifice. They know that their death will be valued. But people didn't want to know that Jesus' life was a sacrifice for the world. The death of the Son of God was not valued. On the contrary, people wanted to get rid of Jesus because they decided that he was not good enough for this earth. They could no longer stand him in his holiness. They didn't want him to become their king, and so they cried, Away with him! The brutality of the soldiers at the scourging openly showed his people's rejection of him. Let's consider this well. The scourging of our Lord Jesus is the revolt of our hearts against God, our rebellion against his will. We know how our hearts can rebel when things do not go the way we desire. But we usually don't realize that this rebellion is actually directed at Jesus. It strikes him just like the blows of the whips at the scourging. Behind our rebellion is the shout, Away with him! We don't want this man to rule over us. If we mistrust God's love when he leads us difficult ways or when he judges us, we are falling into the sin of scourging him. Therefore, we must turn from these ways if we do not want to belong to those who grieve and torment Jesus' heart. The people shouted, Away with him! His blood be on us and our children. They meant that they didn't mind if vengeance came upon them. But Jesus' answer was overwhelming. Yes, he would let his blood come upon them, but as the blood of forgiveness and reconciliation, the blood that cleanses and makes us holy, O oh, amazing wonder of his love. I thank you, scorched and bleeding lamb divine. Those wounds bring healing for all ills of mine. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, thousandfold. O oh, victim pure, with What an incredibly loving response from Jesus to the hatred of men. Now there is such power in his blood that all who call upon it will receive repentance and grace. Love praises Christ's compassion, for sin us in his passion, whom he with love so holds, his cruel wounds and joyful Jews proclaiming that we are saved by grace alone. You have been listening to a program written by Basilea Schlink of the Little Land of Canaan. To learn more about how God lives and works today, visit us at our website, www.canaan.org. That's K-A-N-A-A-N dot org. If you contact us, we would be happy to send you a free inspirational booklet. If you do not have access to the web, please contact this radio station for our postal address. God bless you. <laughs>